everyone, today I'm going to go through my makeup vanity, clean it out, and declutter it. I thought that it might be something that you guys would enjoy seeing because I know that a lot of you like my decluttering um, or slash organizing videos. Uh, however, if you haven't seen any of those, I will link them in the description box so you can go check them out after this one. So my makeup vanity is something that I use every single day. Even if I'm not doing full face of makeup, I will still sit here and put on my mascara and a little bit of blush. So it is something that I see every single day, but oddly enough, it is something that I neglect way too often. Um, it's just something that I honestly don't think about cleaning. Um, I do clean the top of it and it looks really nice and pretty. Um, however, the inside I just get so dirty. I don't clean my makeup brushes nearly enough. I'm sure you guys know if you've been following me for a while. Um, so it's just a hot mess and it's ready to be cleaned. So I thought that you guys would enjoy seeing this and without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Well, this is what my makeup currently looks like. It is a jumbled mess. There are products in here that I've probably never used. There are products in here that I used a long time ago that I don't use anymore. Um, I've had this thing probably since I was like five, honestly. Who remembers Caboodles? Yeah, still have that. Um, I have products that are super dirty like this one um, because I do sit here because my mirror is right here. Hey, pajama pants. Um, I do sit here and do my makeup, so product kind of gets all over everything. and I have to constantly clean it. Um, so yeah, I have all my makeup brushes here, I have a bunch of eyeliners and things here, um, I have a bunch of little like jars with random products in it that I'm going to go through, I have this drawer that has my palettes and some um, extra products that I haven't opened yet, things like that. So I'm going to go through everything, I'm going to wash my brushes, I'm going to clean things off, and I will show you guys my progress. So I spent a bunch of time and I cleaned every single one of my makeup brushes, even ones that I weren't really using. Um, I just cleaned them all so they were all nice and clean. Um, so they're just sitting here drying. Alright, so I'm making some progress. I have been taking my makeup out and deciding what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of. This is all stuff here that I'm keeping. I just need to clean them off so I can put them back. Um, I do have quite a bit that I am getting rid of, which I will show you guys um, once I decide everything that I'm getting rid of instead of showing you just, you know, things over time. Um, so yeah, I just need to clean everything off and then I can put it back in. I have paper towels that are down here that I obviously need to replace. These big like spots are because I take my makeup brush and just like swipe them on the paper towel um, before I use them, which is not good. I need to wash them. <laughs> so that's what that is. Um, but basically I'm just taking everything out. I'm using a magic eraser just to um, clean these off, just a damp magic eraser. And then I'm using just a regular rag to dry it off. Um, and then I'm setting it aside, and then once I'm done with that, I'm going to actually clean the actual vanity itself, replace the paper towels, and put everything back and reorganize it so that it is um, functioning a little bit better for me. All right, so I have some fresh new paper towels in my vanity. I don't have to put paper towels down. I just do because it's easier to clean up. Um, you guys saw how messy it got, and it's easier for me just to take the paper towels out and throw them in the garbage can than it would be for me to get the vacuum, suck up all the little pieces, um obviously clean it out and all that so that's what I do I just prefer it that way obviously like you know some places the paper towels doesn't fit perfectly but that's okay so now what I'm going to do is take all of my clean makeup which is actually kind of on the floor um, I wiped everything down threw it on the floor now I'm going to go and kind of sort everything out um, between blushes and eyeshadows and things like that and try and put everything back in all neat and organized I just got done going through all of my makeup and before I show you guys the after I thought I'd show you guys what I am parting with. Um, some of it I'm just going to throw in the trash, some of it I might see if my friend wants and then if she doesn't want it I'll probably throw it away. Um, so I have some of these little like sponge applicators that sometimes I use for cheerleading makeup. Um, I used to be a competitive cheerleader so we had lots of glitter and these um, came in handy when trying to apply that but obviously I'm not a cheerleader anymore and they're a little kind of yellow and gross so I have two packs of those that I'm just going to chuck in the trash. Um, I have some other little foam applicators. I have this little tiny brush, which honestly, I don't know. I may keep that. Anyway, um, I have some eyeliners. I have some Arbonne ones that are just not colors that I like. Uh, one's blue, I think, like a grayish blue, and the other one's like a purpley color. Um, so I'm getting rid of those. I'm getting rid of this Lorac, um, Lorac, whatever, how you ever say it, black eyeliner. Um, I just never really used it. I never really see myself using it. It was a product that was sent to me when I worked um, on a blog and I just don't care for it. So I'm getting rid of that. I'm finally parting with my little Caboodles 
body shimmer brush. I have two body shimmers that um, I like better, so I'm just going to get rid of that. I don't know where my um, eyeliner sharpener went, but the, here's the top of it, so I'm throwing that away. Um, another little eyeliner sharpener. This Physicians Formula product I purchased at CVS a while back, um, and it's supposed to kind of hide the redness, but it just never worked for me, so getting rid of that. Um, I have some, well this one's empty, I traded out this empty one, there was a full one in here, so I just swapped those out on one of my palettes. Um, and then I have this teal color that I used to use for cheerleading. Um, when I cheered in high school, our colors were teal, teal and silver and black, and so I used this, but I'm not cheerleading anymore, and I don't think I'm ever going to put teal on my eyes again. Um, then I have this like greenish color that I just don't like. Um, then there's this little Arbon FYI palette that's broken and the colors just are not, they're not good anymore. They kind of dried out. Um, and then I have this big e.l.f. palette that I just have never really used. I don't really care for e.l.f. eyeshadows all that much. And there goes those. Um, I have this Stay Flawless um, primer, I guess. And it's just nasty, y'all. I tried this out and it's like a stick and I was not expecting it like I was expecting it to be like a cream I don't know why but it just I did not like it at all so I'm throwing it in the trash I have this um cover girl with Olay um I guess you could call it a concealer but I feel like it does the opposite of conceal it just when you put it under your eyes it shows all of your fine lines and wrinkles and it's just awful so that's going in the trash as well um another eyeshadow palette from elf they just came in a um, holiday palette thing, I believe, that just, I don't know. I liked all the other colors, but not this one, so getting rid of that. I'm never going to use those colors. Um, another e.l.f. product, this e.l.f. beauty book. My mom actually gave this to me, but I just have so many eyeshadows, and I just don't need this, so I'm getting rid of that. Um, I have this little, like, container, this black container. I'm trying to open it. It's very hard to do this one-handed. And I had my um, little foam applicator brushes in here, but I don't need those and I don't need this. So I am getting rid of this little thing. Sorry for that loud, obnoxious noise. And that's it. So that's what I'm getting rid of. Now let me show you guys what it looks like all organized and clean. Here is the finished product. So everything is so organized now. It actually looks like I gained a lot more space. I don't really know how I did that because I didn't get rid of too much. Um, so I'll just kind of give you guys a tour and show you guys what um, I put where. So over here I have blush and bronzer palettes. Um, then I have blush and then I have bronzer. And then I have products that I use pretty much daily. So every day I use either this Physicians Formula blush or I use this Tarte blush. I kind of rotate between the two. I like them both. Um, I have my liquid foundation here. I have my eyelash colors that, of course, I use constantly. I clean these up and put a new pad on them. Um, and then I have my pressed powders. This one I've actually really been enjoying. I just started using it a few days ago. Um, it's really nice. And then I have the Revlon Nearly Naked powder down there, which I like as well. Um, but I just wanted to try something different. So I have those two, which I rotate between. Um, I have some mascaras and a clear um, mascara for my eyebrows. Then over here I have an Arbonne brush roll. I have the Coastal Scents 10-piece um, blush palette right here, which I really do like, but I just forget about and I forget to use it, so I'm hoping to use that more often. Then over here I have like my body shimmers. I have this little e.l.f. one and then I have an Arbonne one. Um, over here I have my loose powder, so I have this um, Mary Kay one that I came in my Influencer box and an Arbonne one. Sorry about the lighting keeps changing. And then I have this Makeup Forever HD powder that I bought for my wedding for me and my bridesmaids to use um, before we took photos. And then I just have some of these Q-Tips Precise um, to clean up any makeup areas I need. And then I have a mirror. Over here I have all of my makeup brushes, if it will focus. These are the brushes that I use most often on top. The brushes that I don't use as often are on the bottom. This isn't the best way to store my brushes. I realize that because honestly there's not enough space and it's kind of hard to find the brushes that I need. But I just don't want to leave them out in the open um, in those little vases that people put them in because I just feel like with them being out in the air um, they get dusty and dirty quicker. And you guys might notice a trend but I don't clean my brushes all that often. So I don't want to do that. So I have my brushes here. Um, I have my eyeliner sharpeners here and I have another pad for my uh, 
eyelash curler. Then over here I have the all of my eyeliners. Um, these are the two that I use most often. I use this Mary Kay gel eyeliner for my top line. And then I have an Arbonne um, black eyeshadow in here that I use for my bottom line. And then just some random other eyeliners. I have a, a liquid eyeliner, I have some pencil eyeliners, I have some colored eyeliners. So that's all contained in this little thing right here. And then lastly, over here, I just have some more eyeshadows, ones that I honestly don't use as often. Um, some aren't even open. I just have them from couponing. Um, so I have a, these are all e.l.f. eyeshadows here that I really don't use um, that often, but I have them in case I do want to use them. I use my eyeshadow palettes the most, which I'll show you guys in a second. I have an Arbonne eyeshadow palette. I have this Mary Kay little um, eyeshadow. And then I have some of my more used eyeshadows if I'm going to use drugstore eyeshadow. So that's everything that's in this portion. Um, so I'll go ahead and close that. Okay. Hang on. Go ahead and close that. <laughs> and then over here are just the jars I showed you guys earlier. This one just has all of my little samples that I have. Um, some sample mascaras. My sample bronzer that I absolutely love. If you're looking for a good bronzer, Hulu by Benefit is amazing. Um, I have some lip products here. Over here, um, these are products that I use pretty much on a daily basis. This one, sadly, the top completely broke off of it. But um, these are my primers and concealers. So I have all of those there. Um, and then in this drawer, I clean this out as well. I have all of my eyeshadow palettes. I love the Lorac Pro palette. That's probably one of my favorite. I also have the Naked palette in here, and I have my Naked Basics, and then I have um, another eye primer, a e.l.f. liquid eyeliner, and then in the back, I have a ton of backup mascaras. The drawer on the other side of my vanity has um, a lot of my setting sprays, so I have an Urban Decay D Slick setting spray, an all-nighter setting spray, my e.l.f. daily brush cleaner, um, I have another beauty spoon, and I have um, my Kat Von D Locket foundation, and then I have this random remote in here for my iPad um, little dock speakers that doesn't even work, so I couldn't tell you why that's there, but Here's just one last overview look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, as you can tell, not every portion or part of my house is super clean. Um, this looked so nasty when I started, but it looks so much better now. So I hope that this video inspired you guys to maybe clean a portion of your house that you just have been uh, putting off. I know when I watch these decluttering slash cleaning videos, I always feel motivated to go clean my house. So I hope this video did that for you. Thank you guys for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribed if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.